Uh, my name is Andrew Kilpatrick, and I'm the founder of Kilpatrick Audio, and we make synthesizers and musical equipment. Yeah, so we make a wide range of synthesizer and electronic music products. We started by making modular synthesizers and uh, various you know, accessories for those systems. We have a Eurorack uh, line, which is sort of the more popular synthesizer format these days. We have our own line, which we designed from scratch, which is called Kilpatrick Format. It's an open format for synthesis. And uh, more recently, we've been getting into more complete systems, and you know, we would call them tabletop. We, you know, we have a synthesizer called Phenol. That's a complete packaged, modular, patchable synthesizer. And our most recent product is called Carbon. It's a complete hardware uh, music sequencer that has a lot of interesting features based on some other designs we've done before. We're trying to take uh, a different approach to making loop-based music. So it's a functional design, it's also uh, an aesthetic design, and because our products are sold to artists and musicians, uh, the, the way it looks and feels has a big impact on how the product uh, works for those people. We do a lot of our sort of decision making in the computer first. We spend a lot of time, we use 3 d CAD and we spend a lot of time trying to figure out shapes that would work and angles and the way to lay out the control panel. A lot of our products are hands-on products that have connectors and knobs and switches and things. Uh, and then after that then we figure out, okay, well sort of how does it fit into someone's environment? You know, does it sit on the table? Is it sloped? And then we sort of go from this concept to an actual sheet metal drawing and I, I've got a lot of experience over the years of doing sheet metal parts for production so I kind of know what kind of shapes are possible. Where Protocase comes in is we've got an idea, we've got a concept, we've maybe shown a few people a render and said you know this is what we're thinking of doing and then we, maybe we have a, an opportunity to take some pre-order sales, maybe we're going to do a crowdfunding project Maybe we're going to just show it at a trade show and see what the response is like. The first thing we're going to do is get a quote from Protocase, send our, send our 3D models and, and our drawings over, and say, this is kind of what we're looking for, you know, can you do this? And the great thing is that the turnaround time is so fast. The quality of the finishing and the silk screen printing and everything is so good that you can really get a product that looks almost identical to the thing that you're going to get in production actually and in fact it's a really good way to take a product to a manufacturer take the prototype from protocase and say this is the kind of level of, of you know quality that we're looking for a lot of sheet metal shops especially uh, in more industrial areas are not used to what they would call a consumer grade finish and that's something that protocase really understands really well Using Protocase, we can get an enclosure that looks and feels like the real thing, so we can actually show it to our retailers, we can show it to customers at trade shows and know that it, it's not like, oh, well, this is the prototype, but the other one will look better. It's not like that. We, we actually show the real thing, and no one really knows the difference. And that, that's really, that's where they come in at the very first stages of when it's actually becoming something real. Well, I've studied music my whole life, and that kind of led me into doing um, musical equipment because I started being interested in it as an electronics designer, which became my career. It sort of all blended together. I used to do sound for shows and recordings and stuff like that. In, in high school, I did a lot of concerts and live sound for musicals and festivals and things. So it was, it was the culmination of audio, electronics, and music all at the same time pretty much they all converge on making cool gear, you know, and so when the opportunity presented itself, um, I decided to take it, but uh, I've been pretty much doing this ever since then. We, you know, I, we want to expand, obviously, because we want to have, you know, more influence in, in what people are doing with music making, um, but we want to stay true to our initial goals in terms of making boutique things, making interesting things that aren't sort of run-of-the-mill stuff. You know, I spent many years going into musical instrument stores and not finding anything I wanted to spend money on. And that's really frustrating. 
because I love music gear and I love making music. And so that's really, I think that's really where we're headed is in terms of just things that more people can afford and more people can, can enjoy. You know, we've recently started doing more of our own manufacturing of circuit boards and things in the effort to make it more affordable and uh, be able to offer more types of products at the same time for more people. So we just want to, we want everyone to have a Kilpatrick audio device.